And now the story of a show where they take a show and make a new show out of that show. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. So, do you like the food place? The restaurant? Sure. Nothing I love more than a blatant disregard for food and safety regulations. I'm taking the camera woman, Arika, out for a date. I think it's going well. Oh, yeah. What was his name again? I Icky? Uh, are you serious? That's a name? To keep the show from getting stale, we have to inject a little drama. Keep people together. Alliances. Enemies. This isn't 1960 anymore. What people want now is raw passion. I want to make love to you in many orphanages? No, it's orifices. Over bridges. <sighs> this pussy train is leaving the station and you're the conductor. I hope I don't derail it when I'm in the caboose. The thought of being with Icky is just so... Well... Okay, so I know this date is just for the show and everything, but I have a serious question. I think our cook's Korean. Why did you bring Maddie? Oh, I'm sorry. Did the middle of my sentence interrupt the beginning of yours? This is weird. That's not weird. This is weird. You know where Icky came from? Let her be. His dad's balls. Let him be. Shut up. I just found that out yesterday. All people come from balls. It's f***ing disgusting. Also, why did you bring your dog? That's not my dog. <laughs> The restaurant where me and Irika went on that date was shut down by the FDA. Something about their meat products. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Nicky threw a ball over Irika. It was embarrassing at first, but I've moved on. And now I just find it absolutely hilarious. Jeez, are you kids okay? We ate bad food. Don't ask. Well, at least I was on a date. That wasn't real, and you know it. As it turns out, viewers don't respond well to pairings where the male is cripplingly socially awkward. But they did respond well to the vomit, so I see in the end we came out on top. Hey guys, you gotta see this. This is the new show everyone's watching. My lasses, my lasses. Hey everybody! Are you ready for the next great adventure? Oh no guys, why are you watching a movie? We're supposed to be going on a world adventure! Shh! Listen to the movie! This is a favorite movie. What makes an ass, Mr. Donkey? Dude. Huh? Uh, I don't know, sir. Is it being prepared to do the right thing, no matter what the cost? Is that what makes an ass? Sure, and a pair of cheeks. <laughs> what? It's My Little Asses. Their internet video channel has way more views than we do, and their comments won't stop comparing our show to theirs. Mexico is the southernmost country in North America. With a diverse and spicy culture, I'm glad to call them our neighbors. Oh, wow, this is so this learning something new every day. Fascinating stuff. Mi familia está sufriendo. No tengo dinero, ni tengo comida. Australia is home to a diverse assortment of desert animals, including the gray kangaroo! Oh my god, I am so f***ing hungover. Hey, that's a joke only adults would catch. Even though it's targeted at young girls, it has a large following by older males. The show is about talking asses, like, you know, donkeys? And these older male fans call themselves jackasses. This show is awesome! There are message boards for these jackasses, there are merchandise for these jackasses, which they can buy at their big jackass convention. So you're telling me that this is what people are watching? What the f*** are we doing wrong? Maybe your show would be better without Iggy. Just a suggestion. Oh, come on, Erica, what's this about? You humiliated me on national television! It was just Also, my... it's Irika, not Erica. Seriously, he doesn't know my name? <sighs> It was just vomit. You latched onto my leg as I tried to leave and humped it. Yeah, but... Then Medipi joined in. I can't. And the dog. Well, typically dogs. Then the cook. Yeah, I joined in at some point, too. Yeah, yeah, poor Irika's leg. Whatever. How are we going to bring the audience back? Well, how do you compete with brilliance? I mean, the only thing coming to my mind is more anal. No, no anal spike. We need to go back and go with what worked for us in the past. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. 
That's right. We're gonna spoil the ending of every episode of your show. Uh, you'll never get away with this. Your viewers will know exactly what to expect and have no reason to watch your show. This is the exact same ending as the last episode. Also, we're gonna put it in your butt. And I said no, Adel. Really, we shouldn't even bother. My Little Asses is the greatest show in the world. One of my favorite things about being a huge jackass is the look people get when they find out I enjoy a little girl show. I think it's a look of shock, but it could range anywhere from between utterly creeped out to, uh, confusion and contempt. Icky Tenryo, you will lose in the preliminary rounds of the Regional Metabot Battle Championship. We can use Metabots to battle? Karen, your parents are getting a divorce. Will my mom stop drinking? And I will become the hey, why is he getting all the lines? That's against union rules! Did somebody call the Phantom Renegade? How did we not see this coming? Fear not, small business owners! The Phantom Renegade has arrived to restore balance of- blah, 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 blah. Jesus! Alright. Fear not, small business owners! The Phantom Renegade has arrived to restore the balance of power to its natural capitalist order! I'm going to launch a formal complaint against you! <laughs> That's right, grovel on the floor like the drain to the free market you are! Small business Workers owners have, have rights, rights too, you know! know. It's people, people like him who are destroying this country. country! After this, I'll probably go to the hospital to uh, make sure I'm not suffering from a brain aneurysm. <laughs> If you don't like it, get a different job! <laughs> hey everybody, that guy hates unions! That's a bad thing! So then after the actors in the rubber suits caught up with Henry, they sat and they had a rational discussion about the disagreement. Each got to explain their position to one another while the opposing party listened with an open mind. In the end, they all agreed on a compromise and everybody was happy. Even Samantha. Afterwards, the union no longer had a purpose to serve and... They willfully disbanded.